Sean Dyche has held his pre-match press conference ahead of Everton's trip to Ipswich Town on Saturday. The manager was asked for his opinion on the appointment of Thomas Tuckle for the England job. This is what Sean Dyche had to say. Um, I think like most, you know, I've spent all my life watching English football being part of it. I think most would have liked a, an English coach, I think. Um, well, that's the general theme I get um, from people I've spoken to in the game and the general kind of viewpoint from the masses, it seems. But on the other hand, I think the game's diversifying all the time. It's someone who's right for the job and he clearly has got a record that suggests he can do the job. And that's for sure. So I think, you know, that's just the way it is. I think it, results will be important for obvious reasons, uh, but they always are if you're manager of England. I'm sure of that. There you go. There you go. Uh, obviously, Everton tripped to Ipswich at the weekend, coming after an international break. The manager was asked for fitness updates on players who he expects to have available for the trip to Portman Road. This was what the manager had to say. Well, sir, well, first of all, Michalenko's looking good, so that's a, a good step in the right direction. Seamus is back in the group, and he's had uh, more or less the week. Jared's a bit behind them, um, but he's been on the grass with us, but a little bit behind them. Um, who's the one I'm missing? Uh, you mentioned oh Pato, yeah. Well, he's just on his uh, longer term sort of plan to get him back, but he's looking fitter and sharper all the time. Um, not quite there yet, but he's training all the time, and so far he's, he's coming through it clean, which is really important, as in clear of injuries. And Chimetti and Brozier as well. Yeah, a bit, a bit longer term. Um, Yusuf has been in, incredibly unlucky, probably the most unlucky out of all of them with the oddest injury. Um, and he's making good progress now. He's on the grass with the, the sports scientists and so is Brozier. So he's he's in front of uh, Youssef with his, his comeback, if uh, want of a better way of putting it. He will need a games programme, but he's certainly working actively now with the sports science group and hopefully he'll be crossing over with us soon. There you go. So Nathan Patterson still isn't fit. That was what I took from that injury news. Uh, two players who the manager left out of the injury news and then revisited later on when asked about a possible injury to James Garner. Uh, he also mentioned that there was an injury to Tim Irabunum as well. This is what the manager had to say. Well, Jimmy Jimmy and um, Tim are the ones who missed out, actually. So Tim, unfortunately, has got a, a stress response of a bone in his foot. So he's going to be weeks, not days, unfortunately. Um, we, we're disappointed he's had a good start to see a good pre-season. Um, and we'll come back through it, but we're not sure on the timescales. Jim is similar. Jim has got a, a, a back situation. We're just monitoring at the moment. It's settling down, but we're not going to have anything too concrete until probably about the next week or so when we'll know more, see how he responds to the, the treatment. So, yeah, and he has been, he has come back to life, so to speak. You know, he's had an interrupted time in pre season at the beginning of the season, and I thought he's done very well since he's been back in you know, amongst it. Obviously, a bit of a blow. We seem to have lots of midfield options a couple of weeks ago, and now we're back to uh, only having really three for that centre midfield position. Unless, of course, you include 17-year-old Harrison Armstrong as well. But it is going to be a blow missing Iribunum and obviously James Garner, who has done quite well at right back as well recently. So, uh, one of uh, watch this space with those two to see exactly how long they're out for. Everton have today been linked with a midfield player. That is 20-year-old Hugo Larsson, who plays for Eintracht Frankfurt in Germany. The 20-year-old Swede has been in excellent form since signing from Malmo. Uh, the Swedish international can play numerous positions in midfield. Uh, this season, he's played six times in Bundesliga and scored two goals. He's played nine overall, had two goals and one assist there. So Everton monitoring him. And finally this week, Roman Dixon and Harrison Armstrong were presented with match balls to commemorate them, making their respective senior Premier League debuts earlier this season. Again, more evidence, uh, good players coming out of the academy. Everton always like to uh, to mark the occasion when these academy players make the full debuts. Uh, a nice touch from the football club there. That is it for the News Daily. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. See you later.